Hi, Jeff Baker here with Seabreeze Computers. If you have a computer and it won't turn on, you press the power button and nothing happens, uh, what do you do? How do you diagnose what's wrong with the problem? There's no fan noise, no lights, uh, no noise at all when you press the power button. So uh, follow some of these steps and we'll try to diagnose the problem. The first thing you want to do is if uh, the computer won't turn on is look in the back of the computer see if there's a rocker switch and there will be a picture on the rocker switch with a line or a circle you want to make sure that it's pressed in on the line that is the on position maybe somebody switched that when you weren't looking so Press that rocker switch to the line, the vertical line, and then try the power button on the front of the computer again and see if it turns on. If that's not the problem, then we're going to have to see if there's something on the inside. So we'll have to take the computer uh, apart. The first thing you want to do when you're taking a computer apart is to unplug all the cables in the back, especially the power cable make sure that's disconnected then we can start unscrewing uh, the sides of the case we basically want to take off uh, one side and that would be the side away from where you plug everything in generally and where the power supply connects so we're going to take off this side of the computer Then there is, uh, you just kind of try to pull the side of the case off. It can be a little difficult and different for different types of computers. Ooh, it's a little dusty inside, so we may want to clean up some of the dust first. Usually when the computer won't turn on and doesn't make any noise, it's because the power supply on the computer has gone bad. So you're going to want to have another power supply to test with or, or replace with. So we have here, most computers nowadays have an ATX uh, power supply. So we're going to use this ATX, it's a 450 watt, that's about what you need for most computers unless it's a, a power gaming PC. So we're going to disconnect the current power supply from the drives and we're going to disconnect it from the motherboard and then we're going to hook this power supply up. So first let's uh, disconnect the power line to the drives. Got the hard drive and this computer has a couple DVD drives we need to disconnect. Now it could be that it is one of the peripherals, the hard drive or one of the DVD drives that is causing it to not turn on. It's a rare chance, but it could happen. So it, we may just want to disconnect the drives first and then put in the power cable. So I'm going to disconnect the drives only. I'm also going to disconnect the SATA cables from the drives so that we can see if there's some type of a electronic problem. So we've disconnected the power cables from the drives and the SATA cables from the drives and now we're gonna plug in the power cable into the back of the computer and we're gonna try to turn on the computer again and absolutely nothing. So we know it's not a problem with the drives at the moment. Now we're going to disconnect the motherboard from the power supply. So it's connected here. Got to press the little disconnect switch. 
and then pull up. Disconnect switches. May have to press down on the motherboard if it's not screwed in well as you're pulling up. So now that's disconnected. Now I want to see if there's any other part of the power supply hooked to the motherboard. And it is over here. disconnect that now we got that disconnected looks like the power supply is no longer connected to the motherboard so now we need to hook up our test power supply so with our test power supply we want to find the two connections for the motherboard here we have the long one uh, to go into the main part of the motherboard and then we have the four pin one to go into the other connection so we want to press it in exactly the same way and just click it into place make sure that the four pin one is in place all right so now we're gonna plug the power cord into the new power supply make sure that the rocker switch is in the line position and we're gonna try to turn on the computer without hooking in the other devices and we have a good sign we hear the power supply turning on and the fan on the motherboard is also spinning. It's making noise because there's some dust in that fan. Now what I want to do is turn it off, unplug it. We're going to plug in the video and then make sure that some video comes on the screen. So we plugged in the monitor into the back of the computer. Now we're going to plug the cable back in and make sure the rocker switch is in the right position. Press the button on the front of the computer. We'll see if anything displays on the monitor. And there we go. We have something displaying on the monitor. So now we're going to turn it off again. We're going to unplug it and now we're going to plug in from the new power supply the drives and then we'll know if the drives had caused the power supply to break or not. So we got to make sure we got all the connections for the drives and it looks like we don't because they're all SATA drives and we only have two SATA connection. So we're just going to test one of the DVD drives and the hard drive and then we'll have to use a converter cable like this. So we can actually hook up the other DVD drive too also with this converter cable. Plug it into there. Plug the SATA power connections in. They only go one way, so you have to find out where that notch is. Maybe difficult to see. And then the same for the SATA cable. Then we have to plug in the DVD drives. Okay, so we got them plugged in. Now we're going to try to turn on the computer again, make sure. None of the connections are hitting any fans or any other metal things. Press the power button. And Windows is starting up, so that's a good sign. So we'll go from there. Now we're going to have to take out the old power supply and put the new one in its place. So there are four screws holding the power supply in place. So we're going to 
take those four screws out for the old power supply. Then we want to reach inside, see if there's any other thing in the way of pulling it out. There's a little metal lip, so we have to push the cables back and then push it back inside away from the lip and then pull it out. Make sure we're not tangled up with anything and we've disconnected everything. Looks like we got it all, so we got it out of the computer. The new power supply in its place. The fan, if there's a fan on the bottom of it, we make sure that that's blowing down into the computer. There, now it's the same way and the four holes should line up. Now, one thing to remember is don't over tighten the screws. They just need to be in all the way and just a little bit snug. Now we got to make sure that all the cables are plugged in. Plug the video cable back in. And the power cable in. And we're going to turn it on and see what appears on the screen. And there we go. Now we have Windows starting up. So the computer is now going into Windows. One other thing we want to make sure that's working is the drives to make sure we got the cables correct. So first we're just going to open each drive. Yeah, this one has a prompt. But that's uh, not that we didn't get the power cable correct. It just is kind of stuck. So it could be dust, could be something else. I just pulled it out all the way. We'll see if it will now eject. Ah, now it works all the way. So it was probably dust that was making it not go all the way. Before we put the case back on, we also want to to be safe, we want to turn off the computer. So we'll hit the power button on the screen here and shut down. And when it completely turns off, then we're going to pull out the power cord. Now that we've got the case on, we want to test it one more time, make sure that everything is working. So plug everything back in. And we'll press the power button. And now it's going into Windows. So we cleaned that processor fan on the inside uh, about three different times, brushed it with a brush about three different times, blew it with air uh, three times, and it's finally quieted down. So I think it's good to go.